and swing on fishing, see which lures are right, KDA. Eh? Sure, I'll come up for a few hours, see if I can get a bite. The wind's actually blowing down right at the other end, but as you can see, it's a bit of a, it's not too much wind up this end compared to what there is down there. Um, I've currently got one rod, I don't know, flicks out maybe 20 foot, 20 yards maybe, I don't know, not far, literally out there. A little weed bed down there, it's kind of dying off, but I thought it might be worth a go. That's on a blood on dumbbell tip bit of corn, and I've glugged it in some bait zone dip. See if that works. And then the other rod is currently just off that island, and it's just a white cream pop up um, on a chod. Just gotta wait and see if anything happens. Hopefully, it will. That spot produced a lot in the summer and I know the fish get around there quite a lot so we'll wait and see if nothing I'll um, go up the other end later on so we'll wait and see um, it's been about 20 minutes I haven't seen nothing I don't expect to see too much today to be honest with us pretty cold and um, but I mean it's always good for a take come up here the other day I had a couple of eight pounders off at the other end but to be honest that ain't my favourite end I was quite surprised really and at the moment it looks like the sun's coming out, so it could be a good thing. Um, we'll wait and see. As you can see, the uh, geese are currently right by my rods. They've just been picking up little bits or whatever, but to be honest, that's the main reason I come up this end, because there's been quite a bit of bird like action up here. It's the only thing to go on, really. I ain't seen no shows or nothing, so um, we'll wait and see. There's a couple of pole anglers around the corner. And um, they've had one bream and one roach, and they've been here all day. So I'll try to keep away from that bit, I suppose. But uh, wait and see. Um, since this is the first blog I'm doing, for just go through my setup for anyone who's interested, just to put a bit of time on the like the viewing actually, because I ain't got nothing else to say at the moment. There's nothing going on at all. But um, yeah, this is my setup anyway. We've got two. Dial Theory rods. These are three pound test curve, 12 foot. They're lovely rods, they're quite soft, and I had Shimano Tribals before, and uh, they were really heavy, like tip ended, but they're wicked for casting. But to be honest, I don't cast anywhere anymore, I don't go anywhere that warrants it. But yeah, lovely rods. Um, and I've got two Fox Stratos 1200E reels, these have got adrenaline on at the moment, same for the well. I don't really need the adrenaline, but to be honest, I was trying to change my real line. I haven't needed to. It's a really good line, actually. I didn't think it'd be very good to start off with, but it lasts well. Super stretchy. Um, that ain't always a good thing, but it, well, when you snag up or whatever, you can normally give it some to get it out, which ain't too bad. And then I've got two quarter stow hangers. I didn't really like these at the start either, to be honest. They, um, because it's because you clip it straight onto the line when you're setting up, it's a bit awkward. But once you get used to them, they're all right. Yeah, um, they're wicked for takes. You get some absolute screamers off them, and it's good watching the uh, hanger shoot off when you get a good take. And they've got two Steve Neville bite alarms. I love these alarms, my favourite alarms. It's either these or Delkins, but these have always done well. The batteries, I've had it in them for probably two years now, two and a bit years, and they're still going strong. It's got a lovely high pitched tone on them, which I like. Um, White rollers are just a bit tarty to be honest and the snaggies. Snaggies have been helpful as well. There's been a few times when my rod's been right round and I've seen it just jump out the stevie a little bit. So um, yeah, snaggies are helpful. And um, my buzz um, uh, bank sticks are just literally, they cost a couple of quid from the carp show. They're nothing special but they do the job and along with these, um, uh, they just they secure the bank sticks. So pucker just to, when you can't get a bank stick in the ground that far. You've got a tiny little spike which you can get into pretty much any ground, so pretty handy as well. Um, and the buzz bars are matrix, I love these buzz bars as well. Puck are nice and strong. Oh, mm. got a bit of a bite there, I don't really know what's happened to them as well. Nothing out there, it weren't the birds, I my mean, line sunk right at the tip, so could be something to keep an eye on. Sort that out in a minute. So, yeah, that's my setup. Hope you enjoyed it. This is uh, <coughs> my trod set up. I've got a two and a half ounce cord of lead um, along with some cable lead core which follows along up to the chod and the chod is 
quite it's quite a hefty child really the length of it I know people like a really short one but I've got a uh, pink Kent particles pop up on there it's like a squiddy flavour size 5 ESP hook um, and yeah that's about it it's quite easy to whack out on its own because you can't really take it around anything oh, with this it's quite handy I've just got a bead I think it's a normal fox bead you can just um, pierce them through the side and they go under the nicely so uh, let the um, chuck go up and down without hindering it too much so uh, that's my chod and I'll now put it in the margin show you what it looks like as you can see lovely and bright in the margins there is the pop-up um, out there even though it looks quite clayey and clear here it's um, quite weedy so that lead core should sink in nicely and um, yeah, that's how I'll do it. I don't change my pipes too much, but I've had a go with a white one and had nothing, so I'll try to pick one. So I'll get on later. This is uh, my setup on the other rod. My bloodworm dumbbell took a bit of corn and uh, a bag of little bloodworm pellets mix sizes. don't know if you can see, but on the rig there we have got a sinker. Uh, we've got another one there, which leads on to a quarter inline lead and some more cable lead core. Um, and then before I cast it out, I will put in, I'll dip it in some of this bloodworm active bait dip. Um, it's full of little bits of bloodworm, even you can see at the top of the jar there, there's some little bits of bloodworm hanging about. So I'll dip it in there and cast it out. I've um, <coughs> moved halfway around the lake, there's nothing happening at that end. Um, there's another angler that's turned up in the car, but right next to the van. That's where I was heading, but I'll see, because he's there, I can't. But I'll just. Um, show you the swim. It's obviously quite a huge swim, very muddy, so quite popular. But we've got all these trees down here to the right and it's quite a way to the next swim. So I've just put the little bloodworm pop uh, bloodworm dumbbell down that side with a little bag. Um might pick something up and my shod rod, left hand rod, I've got out just off the point of that island there's a little channel going behind there. I'm not sure if the fish getting it in the winter but Never know, wait and see. And um, if I get nothing else, I'll um, flick them around a bit. I've got all them far margins to uh, go for. This evening in the winter, this is quite a, from what I've heard, predominantly margin water. So um, if not, I'll just flick it all along there and flick the bag out in the middle if nothing happens. So uh, I'll get back to you if anything happens. Well, for the time that I was here, nothing really happened. Um, <coughs> I'm still out at the moment, probably going to give it 10 minutes and go home because to be honest it's freezing cold there ain't much happening the geyser in the car park had a take I don't know if he landed it or not I'll um, have a chat with him later but um, <coughs> yeah I'm totally packed away now as you can see minimal gear just got my rucksack and my rod back sleeves and that and my uh, rods are currently laying on my unhooking mat just with two stones on obviously in case I get a take if one falls off that's all I've got to look out for so um I do, by total luck, happen to get one within the next 10 minutes, so I'll um, put it on here. But other than that, it's my first vlog done. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. But um, I will be doing more when I can get out. I'm quite busy at the moment, but um, hopefully I'll be able to get out soon. And as soon as I can, I'll inform you. Cheers. Bye.